Hello everyone! In today's tutorial, we are going to create a quiz that is going to be viral. We know that making a quiz is not a difficult task because there are various tools that will help you to make a quiz in just seconds. However, to make one that is going to be viral is not an easy task. So today we will go through this step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make a quiz that is going to be share-worthy and viral. Let's start! So first, let's install the plugin. For it, you need to go to plugins and search quiz maker. You will see its orange icon. And after that, you have to install the plugin and then activate it. And after activating, you will see its icon to pop on your dashboard. Okay, so before starting actually creating our quiz, I would like to speak about the best possible topics that you can choose in order to make your quiz go viral. So first, we all have to keep in mind that people, all of us, like challenges. We like to be challenged, we like to challenge our skills, our previous knowledge, we like double checking. And my idea sums up the fact that your quiz must be challenging. The other aspect of making a quiz that is going to be viral is knowing your ideal interest group, your target audience, right? Because challenging someone is easy peasy when you know exactly what would provoke them to take the quiz. If you are running a blog about medicine, like if it's a medical blog, I don't think that people in it would be provoked by fashion quiz, right? So this is very simple. You just have to keep in mind that knowing your target audience and knowing how to challenge them will provoke them to share and to take the quiz. And the last aspect is the tool that you are going to make the quiz with because you might have many ideas, but if you don't use the appropriate tool for that ideas to come to life, you will fail. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to use a WordPress plugin called QuizMaker. I will take you through its functionalities and how to use those functionalities uh, in order to reach the aim, the goal, which is to make a viral quiz. Okay, so after you click on the quiz maker icon, you will see the following screen. You have to click on add new. I already have a pre-made quiz so that I won't take most of your time um, with writing. So the first part is general settings of the quiz. And on the general settings, you have to title your quiz. You have to add an image, description if necessary. And the most important part is inserting the questions, which is um, something that I will explain a minute later. So first, I would like to speak about the title of your quiz. It is very important. It's like the face of your quiz along with the picture. So your title must be provoking itself. So I'm going to make a quiz about Disney princesses. So my title is going to be, I bet you can't guess this pr Disney princesses if we cover everything but their face. So if you Google the most uh, famous viral quizzes, you will see that 99% of them have provoking titles and even you want to click on them. So the next part is the quiz image. Um, on a quiz image, you shouldn't make it hard. It shouldn't be provoking. Actually, looking on a quiz image, there should be a confusion between the title that you have chose and the image. So the person might think, oh, it's easy, I'm gonna do that. 
The next part comes the description, which you can write or you can skip this part. I'm actually going to skip the description because the title speaks for itself and the image as well. And after comes the questions part, inserting questions, which have to be pre-made before um, inserting into your quiz. So let's go and start making the questions. To make questions, click on the questions from your quiz maker settings uh, right under it. Then you have to click on add new and you can see the process. I will take you through the process of creating one. Um, but I have already created uh, the questions, as I said, to save time. So first comes the question image and after comes the actual question. So my um, quiz today is going to be based on images mostly because first of all, images are fun. Uh, quizzes with images are fun to pass and when asking the question, be precise, be short, keep it short and sweet, and um, do not write in figurative language. Write as easy as you can. So I'm going to write who is she and or do you know her, it can be in my case, and I'm going to insert the image of the princess then you have to, on the answers part, you have to um, make your answers. Uh, you can add as many answers as you want. I'm going to make a three row answers and you have to choose the correct one. And after you can save, there are other functionality, functionalities such as question way, uh, you can categorize your questions. Um, and also you can, um, click on these hint icons in order to understand uh, which um, which button does what if you don't understand it so there is no need to use search engines or to google anything you will find all your answers within the quiz coming back to our general settings um, go to the add questions part, click on it, and you have to choose all the questions and insert all of them all together. And that's it about general settings. Do not forget to save. The next section is our style section, which is not less important. As you know, you have to brand your quiz, you have to make it appealing, and our style section gives you the opportunity to fully customize. There are already pre-made themes that you can use, um, but you can also customize it. And which is, which is the most important part is that in style section, you can uh, change the parameters and you can make a hundred percent mobile friendly quiz which is important especially if you think about making a quiz that is going to be viral it has to be mobile friendly because we know that mobile users are like everyone has a mobile um, okay I can show you some um, functionalities such as Putting on a background image, I have put a background image on. You can change all the buttons, you can change its text, you can change their colors. Uh, you can make a very detailed customization on our style section. Okay, so here comes the settings section and there is not much to say. Well, actually, I can say there, there is a lot to say. However, for this part, for creating viral quiz, it actually varies from person to person. And the only thing that I can say is that there are so many functionalities that you just need ideas. And in this, with those functionalities, all your ideas will come to life. For example, 
you can randomize answers and questions you can enable question bank you can enable navigation bar you can make a very detailed customization um, yeah that's it the next section is our result settings however before showing that um, sections functionalities on a big screen I came to deliver a message about result settings and how important it is in the creation of a viral quiz. So first I would like you to think about all the Facebook uh, shares of your friends uh, of quizzes, of their results. What do you see? I can say for myself that 99% of those results shared on Facebook, for example, Put them, show them in a good light. They are written in an easy language, in a very nice tone. And that's what I suggest you to do. Never show uh, negative, negative answers or really negative results. And that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to show inaccurate results. If, for example, the quiz taker has very bad results you can make a funny message you can make it fun and you can make it something that can turn into laughs and that's when your quiz will become share worthy and this is when um, the person decides whether they are going to share your uh, quiz or they are going to leave it and forget about it and of course the more shares you get, the more um, opportunity you get to um, go viral. Now, what our result setting of settings offer is um, calculated scores. You can uh, show their scores by correctness, by waypoints. Uh, you can redirect after submission to a certain website. Uh, you can enable exit button. You can hide their score if you want to. Um, you can enable progress bar, for example, um, the percentage uh, that the quiz taker passed. You can enable restart button. Uh, social buttons. There are th th there is uh, very detailed functionalities. Um, in here and you can show a result message you can show a nice result message and um, sometimes it is very important to have um, longer result uh, message because uh, for example if you are going to uh, make a quiz that is going to be like um, your personality based on um, the times you leave, uh, you cannot describe someone's personality uh, in like one sentence, right? So yeah, showing um, result messages sometimes can help you go viral. That's it about result settings. The next section is limitation users. In the limitation users, you can uh, limit the maximum number that um, your quiz can be taken, which is not preferable. If you think of a viral quiz, right? Um, and I don't think that limitation of users is nice functionality for this case to use. It is very good for exams, for example, but in this case, there should be no limitations. And what we have here is email certificate. So in this section, you can design a certificate or even their results and send it via email. And imagine if you have created a viral quiz with appropriate results that people actually want to get and are interested to get, imagine the number of leads and email lists that you are going to generate by using this functionality. So it is very important. Think wise before customizing 
um, message and um, email lists are very important for marketing strategies. I'm really happy to see you at the finish line. So this was it for our video. I would like uh, to also mention that nowadays quizzes are much more than just fun and entertaining thing to do or to make. Quizzes are considered to be leading marketing tools and um, they generate leads actually in a way that you won't believe. So. Keep in mind all the steps that we took together because all the steps are equally important and the success that you are going to get from your quiz is a result of a collective work. And at the end, I would also like to ask you for a favor, which is to share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done that and maybe leave a like and comment bye